Mike Hastings joins us post game now. Minnesota State getting a 4 1 win uh, on the road. WCHA game at Alabama Huntsville. Mike, it was a 4 1 win, but it wasn't easy by any stretch of the imagination, was it? No. You know, uh, come out in the third period and uh, found a way to make some plays, but uh, it definitely wasn't a 4 1 game. Um, we struggled a little bit on the power play to begin with. Uh, took a few penalties that. Uh, didn't come back to bite us. I thought Cole Huggins, even though he didn't see a lot of shots, the shots that he saw were pretty quality. Um, and so we needed to get some breathing room there. We did with our power play, getting us up 2-1. And then Zach Lurkey makes a, a real uh, special individual play to give us a two-goal lead. And uh, J.P. LaFontaine makes a real good play in the neutral zone to be able to get Zach in one-on-one. And, uh, you know, we, I thought our third period from about the four or five minute mark on was the best that we played. And we're going to have to be better uh, than we were tonight, uh, tomorrow. Uh, hopefully we can find a way to score some more five on five goals. You, you mentioned the power play, Mike, and you had three power play goals, uh, two which came in the third period allowed you to pull away there. Uh, continues to firing. I think we we're the last six games we're firing on 40% in the power play. Um, it was nice to see uh, the team get on track power play wise there in the third period, as you mentioned. You know what? We finally started getting some pucks to the net. Uh, like JP's goal was, I think, a second or a third rebound. Uh, Johnny's goal was just Johnny could shoot the puck and uh, made a real nice play as a, an entry into him in the middle, and he made no mistake about it. So uh, we needed some good things to happen in that group. We've relied on him a little too much here in the last month. Uh, we relied on them again tonight, and uh, they came through. Okay, six in a row now for Minnesota State. What do you think the Mavericks have to do to keep it going and get that seventh one tomorrow night? Well, we're going to have to play a lot more complete 60 minutes than we did tonight um, and, and generate our own excitement, our own energy uh, coming into the game and, and then sustain it, not create the other team's offense by either going to the box or uh, turning pucks over. Um, you know, I think when we manage the puck well, we're a, we're a much more difficult team to play against, and we're going to have to be better at those, really those two things going into tomorrow. Okay, thanks very much, Mike. A good win tonight, and let's get another one tomorrow night. All right, well, thanks. thanks.